son. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first, a wonderful feast of the archangels, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. But if we come to a question, we are discussing eternity. At least if at, at we are in the morning, we woke up and we took a coffee to come in, in our senses, we know that we've got a day to work, to go to this, to do that, to correct, to go ahead, to be happy, to be sad at times. But at least we know. But when we come to the archangels, what are they doing right now? What is their job? Do you have any answer? We, no one has been there yet, then. So we know the answers only from what the Holy Scriptures tell us. So what is the job of Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel? Do they have a stipend like us at the end of the month? That's no for sure. No money is inside heaven. So that's out. But what do they do? The first thing I want to tell you is, note, Michael, C-H-A-E-L, Raphael, A-E-L, Gabriel, I-E-L. They all end in E-L. E-L is God in Hebrew. Just to make it clear. So we are celebrating the archangels who are in front of God. That's why their names end up in E-L. Now, what do they do? First of all, there's the contemplation, profound prayer that they do every moment. We say it night and day. There's no night and day in heaven, of course. But to understand it, they contemplate God night and day. They glorify Him, just as we did a few minutes ago. Glory to God in the highest. We do that every Sunday. They do it continually. Now, let's come to Michael to enter into each and every one of their jobs. What does Michael do? We know that he's a warrior against Satan. We have that one wonderful prayer. No, we say it in Maltese. I don't know it exactly in English. But it's a wonderful prayer asking Saint Michael to defend us, especially in moments that we are attacked by Satan. So he's a warrior against Satan and the evil spirits. He protects the people that love God. The people of God. He protects us. That's Michael. And he is a patron saint for all of us because he defends us from evil, referring to us the real truth. That was Michael. I cannot go profoundly because or else we won't finish today. Gabriel. Gabriel is the messenger most important to be found in the Holy Scriptures. You remember Gabriel? Why? When he announced to Our Lady of the coming of the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior, and also to Zachary, he announced the birth of John the Baptist. And in the Old Testament, he revealed to Daniel the prophet Daniel, God's plan. So, Gabriel is also known as the patron of those who work in media, communications, like postmen, journalists, uh, ambassadors. Now, the ambassador is coming next week. So, 
Gabriel is his patron saint, and we have to pay attention. Here's what I say there, defending him, and also to remember that Gabriel gave us wonderful messages, always messages of hope and life. The, on, the only one that we can take into consideration is when he announced Mary. The others are wonderful, but that means the salvation of all humanity. Our salvation, my salvation, your salvation. Rafael. Is there any Michael, Gabriel or Rafael here at the moment? So the next baby to be born is one of these, eh? We've got names here, eh? Take note, please. And, you know, names can be done in many, many languages. For example, Michael in French, à la Française. Eh? Nedi, Michel. Isn't that so? Who, who corrects me in French usually? Eh? You, eh? Michel, no? And for both, no? Masculine and feminine. Michel, no? One is M-I-C-H-E-L, and the one double L-E, no? All right. That's not do French lessons. No. <laughs> right. Now, Raphael, Raphael, he is in front of God's throne, like the others, of course. But he accompanied in the Old Testament Tobias during his journey. And he healed the father of Tobias and he protected his wife from the evil one. So, Raphael is the patron saint, we can call him, the angel, of the married couples. Not because they fight against each other, no. but to keep them in union. He is the patron saint of youths. I'm seeing some youths today. All right. Raphael, don't forget, pray to him. For the engaged, those that are preparing themselves for marriage, pharmacists, because he healed, you see, in the Old Scripture, in the Old Testament, the wife uh, and the father of Tobias. Now, to conclude, they communicate, all the angels, but especially the archangels, to the whole world, the will of God. We at times feel what we have to do to distinguish between evil and good, and we have to choose. And they enter there, giving us support to choose the good thing. That's Christian life. That's the gospel. That's living our daily life. Even if we do not perfect, I told you that we are not perfect. I in the first place. But the archangels help us to do God's will, to hear God's will, to know God's will, and to live it in as much as we can, humanly speaking, with the divine grace. Why? Because the archangels inspire us and carry to us the divine grace. That is, the strength to live the words of Jesus. Eh? So let's pray to the archangels today to watch over us, defend us from the evil one, to help us see the truth, the truth, and to distinguish good from evil and of course to do good and avoid evil and we ask this through christ our lord Amen. praise be god Amen.